Welcome to Excel Magic Tricks 1795. And in this video, we have to use Excel to filter by month. Now we have a table with last name, first name, higher date, and email. And from this column, we want to select a particular month and filter the data set. Now, if your proper data set is not converted to an Excel table, then you go to Data, Sort and Filter, and click the Filter button. If you do this a lot, there's the keyboard, Control-Shift-L. So with one cell selected somewhere in the data set, Control-Shift-L. And because the dates in this column are from one year, this task is amazingly easy. We click Filter. And there it is, the single year with all the months below. So I uncheck Select All. And if I want to see just the records for March, I check, click OK, and we're done. To filter again, I click the drop down. This time I want to see June, click OK. Want to clear the filter? You can do that. Now on the next sheet here, in this example, we have dates from multiple years. I'll click in a cell, Control-Shift-L. Now we have our filter dropdowns at the top of each column or fields. For higher date, I'm going to click. We see two years. We uncheck Select All. And I want to see February for 2021, so I open that year. Select February, click OK, and there are the records. Come up, and this time we want February from 2022. Check Select All, uncheck. Open 2022, click February, click OK, and there are the records. Now, let's see how to do it with a formula. We're going to go over to the Sheet 3. Now, I want a formula here that will filter the whole data set based on a year and month I put into this cell. And I want the whole solution to update and be dynamic when I add new records, including new years and months, to the bottom of this table. And I want a drop down arrow so I can just select year, month, and everything works. So the first task over to the side is to extract a sorted unique list of years and months. Now I'm going to use the text function. Text function allows you to take numbers and format them and deliver them as text. Well, dates are numbers. So at the top of this Excel table, I'm going to click to put the entire field in. That will force the text function into a function argument array operation, which means it'll spill all of the answers below, comma. And the format is what we need. This is custom number formatting. So in double quotes, you'd think you'd have to put four Ys, but you only have to put three Ys to show the full year, then a dash, and MM. Now for month, I definitely want a leading 0, because that will help us when we sort this. And by putting two M's, 1 will show up as 0, 1. And 12, of course, will be 1, 2. And double quote, close parentheses. And when I hit Enter, that's um, a complete duplicate of this column, but with this custom number formatting showing just year and month. Now in the top cell, F2, watch this. I know I'm going to use this later in a different formula. So I'm going to Control CC. What that does is copies it to the clipboard and opens the clipboard. And if Control-CC doesn't work on your computer, go down to Options. Now I want a unique list, so I'm going to use the Unique function. So from that full column, now it'll give me a unique list. But I definitely want it sorted. So now I'll use Sort. Close parentheses, and bam, there's the input for our data validation dropdown. Select the cell, data. Click the data validation dropdown. We don't want any value. We want to allow values from a list. Source, and because this is a dynamic spilled array, and the formula only lives in that top cell, watch how we do this in data validation. I select the cell. And since all of the values are spilling or emanating from that cell, we use the spilled range operator pound. That tells 
the formula in this dialog box to make sure and always get everything that's spilling from N7. Click OK. When I click the drop down, I can see we have down to 20, 2208. Later, when we add new records to the table, this will update. Now we come over and say equals filter. I want to include the entire table. So this is an Excel table. So in the upper left corner, I see that diagonal black arrow. I click. It puts in the table name, comma. Include argument says I need a column of trues and falses to tell me which records to deliver. So include needs the full column here, but as year and month. So I click on text. And I say, are you equal to whatever's over here? And that's our filter formula. When I hit Enter, I have filtered just for the eighth month in the year 2022. Now if I click the drop down and say 2021-09, I get my records. Now here's the moment of truth. I'm going to Control down arrow. And I've placed some new records down here. I'm going to click in a single cell, Control shift 8 or better, control asterisk on the number pad to highlight the whole table, control C to copy. And because this is an Excel table, I click in the cell directly below the table and control V. Immediately that table expands, control down arrow. There's the bottom, control home to jump to cell A1. And already we can see over here, that is a thing of beauty. It got all the way to the last possible year and month. 23 in the third month. And let's look at our drop down. You better believe it's dynamic. Oh, Microsoft 365 Excel and all these spilled arrays, it just makes everything so much more amazing than in the past. So I have this new year and month, and I'm looking at those records. All right, in this video, we saw how to use the filter function and dynamic data validation. Importantly, we saw how to do a simple sort, which is most of the time what we would do. Then we could copy and paste these somewhere else. This was multiple years. This was a single year. All right, if you want to learn lots more tricks, I just wrote a book, The Only App That Matters. The link's to buy the book from the Mr. Excel website. That's where you should buy it. Or Amazon. The links are below this video.